students today we're going to study Cambridge O level Islamiyat by Dr. Saki Muhammad Khan and we have page number 6 and this is passage 3 Surah Fosilat so students starting among his signs are the night and the day and the sun and the moon Adore not the sun and the moon. Students, adore means bow or to worship. So, but adore Allah, that means bow Allah Almighty who created them. The things they're talking about, who created them, like it's the sun and the night, the duration of night and day. It is all controlled by Allah Almighty. If it is Him you wish to serve. Students, in this passage, similar to Surah An Naba and Surah Al Layl, the cosmic signs, students, cosmic means according to the universe, signs of the universe are referred to as a great signs of Allah's lordship and authority. So, students, what are the great signs of Allah Almighty that represents the lordship and authority? So students, moving forward, this verse emphasizes that Allah is the sole cause and the source of all that exists. So students, this verse emphasizes means to it's it's the special weight or the importance that Allah is the sole creator. That means Allah Almighty is the one who created the universe from heavens to earth and all the things that exist exists and whatever exists in a wondrous sign of his lordship that is why it's, it is his lordship and authority that made us do these things so students moving to passage 2 and the questions that would come from this passage we would study them later the purpose of the given verse is to express the glory of Allah and this exclusive worthiness for worship. So students, this verse express the glory of Allah and his exclusive worthiness for worship. We would study that forward. At another place, the Holy Quran, the Holy Quran invites people to ponder over the wondrous creations of Allah and believe in him. So dear students, as you remember, ponder means to men. So students. The purpose of the given verse is to express the glory of Allah and His exclusive worthiness for worship. At another place, the Holy Quran, the Holy Quran invites people to ponder. These students ponder means meditate or contemplate over the wondrous creations of Allah and believe in Him. That means that this para or this verse express Dear students, the glory of Allah and His exclusive worthiness for worship that could also become or arose in the paper as a question. So, undoubtedly, in the creations of the heavens and the earth and the alteration of night and day are signs for intelligent as we, dear students, have thought that Allah Almighty is the one who created the heavens and the earth and the alteration of day and night are the things that even if an intelligent person sees it would come to know that there is someone who is taking care of all these things other than him they are useless that is Allah Almighty so students moving to the next para the cycle of the night and the day points to the fact that Sun and moon are not the objects of divine power so dear students, divine means win some power. So the sun and the moon are not the objects of divine power. Both are helpless and powerless objects. So that means without Allah Almighty, the sun and the moon are helpless and powerless objects. They are moving according to the law of Allah Almighty. If one is really Allah's worshipper, that he means that he bows to Allah Almighty, he should bow down to him alone, not to the worldly power or anything uh, away than Allah Almighty. He brings the night in a part of the day and he brings the day in a part of the night and 
has subjected the sun and moon. So the turning of night and day and day into night is controlled by Allah Almighty. He has subjected the sun and moon. Each one runs to its fixed terms, that means orbit, dear students, such as Allah, your Lord. Only He is the kingship and kingship. And those whom you worship instead of Him do not owe even the husk of a day. See, dear students, that means we should only obey Allah Almighty because He is the one who created the heavens and the earth and the alteration of day and night and uh, the turning of day and night and uh, the moon and the sun so it is all controlled by Allah Almighty other than him no one even can make a seed cover that is of date so dear students it is said that it is the only Allah Almighty who can create all these things the students are we clear so moving to the next para Theme of this passage urges Muslims to observe various objects of nature. These students urges means strong desire or impulse of nature that reflects God's majesty and bear witness to his existence. So students, it can come into question as what is the theme of this passage? What is the theme of this passage? And the second one could become that tells us or urges Muslims to observe various objects of nature that reflects God's majesty and bear witness to his existence. So these students, we have two questions now. Are we good? So moving next, such observations develop a strong belief in Tawheed and consolidate these students. Consolidate means to combine or unite the faith of Muslims that all things are under the commandment of Allah. So dear students, that means that all these things are commanded by Allah Almighty. Without His commandment, nobody moves or nobody changes. So they must mold their life as per the instructions of God, just like the other creations of Allah that goes to Him. So we as the creations go to Allah Almighty, we should also go to Allah Almighty. So students, the questions that could come in this line is, tell us the observations that develop a strong belief in Tawheed and consolidate the faith of Muslims. So dear students, they must mold their life as per the instructions of God, just like the other creations of Allah. So we should only go to Allah Almighty, not to the worldly power or anyone. So dear students, are we clear? With such testimony, testimony dear students means evidence that no one should hold the sun and other celestial, that means saintly or divine or holy objects worthy for, of worship. So, and other celestial, that means holy objects worthy of worship instead of their creator the one god so as we have been clear by these instructions that the alteration of changing of moon and sun the alteration of day and night and the turning of seasons it is all controlled by allah almighty without them they are helpless and objectless so dear students passage 3 surah fosilat are we clear here? I hope so you got to know about it completely. And you have learned the terminologies and the questions that will come. And for the further inf for the further information or for the further questions, you could contact us in Google Class. So dear students, thank you very much and take care.